Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about taking on iPhone to Android migration projects for clients. <laughs> All right, so I talk a lot here about client work because we spend a lot of time working on apps for our clients, but we do our own apps too. So I've talked lots of times about our, our revenue and everything that comes through, but in order to supplement the revenue and in order to grow, we take on a lot of client work. So, so I know I talk about that a lot. Now, one of the projects that we seem to be getting in a lot lately are migration projects. I mean, it just seems to be this flood all of a sudden of iPhone to Android migration projects. So we've got a lot, there's a lot of companies out there that have, they've done an iPhone app, you know, maybe a few years ago, it might be like, you know, four or five years ago when they, they weren't even thinking about Android or the owner was an iPhone user and he thinks, ah, nobody ever uses Android. And they're getting to the point now where Android is really taking over and they need that Android app too, right? Because if you've ever released to just one platform, which which I did in the beginning, it was only Android. It was soul destroying when somebody takes out their iPhone and says, "Oh, download it. Let me. Yeah, yeah where is it?" And he said, "No, it's Android only, right?" So that's why it's easier just to do both markets, and then you could push it out to, out to both of them, right? And a lot of companies are like that too, right? Where they've released an app and it's for iOS only. Sometimes it's Android only, and I think we're going to get to more Android only projects, you know, and going back the other way, you know, in the future, but. We've had about uh, about 10 projects that come in so far of just, hey, we have an iOS app, you know, we, we developed a couple years ago, can you convert it to Android, right? The beautiful thing about these kind of projects is they're really simple, right? You don't have to go through all the meetings, all the iterations, all the designs. You don't have to, you know, say, well, you know, I don't know if I like that font, can we move this over here? You don't have any potential for scope creep and you, you're just able to just take one existing set of code and write it either either read through the Swift or Objective C. Most of the time it's Objective C. I and mean, we've never had a migration project from Swift. I mean, but they're out there. I'm sure they're out there. But so you have to be able to read through the Objective C and either and duplicate it in Android, so Java or Kotlin, or if you know, we've even done one where we did, you know, iOS Objective C to a hybrid. So we did a Cordova based app on that way so being able to do that or if you don't know the objective c you can just black box it you know just see what everything does you know you can read through it well enough see what all the code does and just build that out right now these projects are they can be very boring right so as an app developer a lot of the reason we do what we do is because we are cre we're creative when we like building things and we like you know doing things we bring a lot of experience into these projects so a common conversation i have when we do these kind of projects is Hey, can we give you a new icon? No, no, we just want, we want to look exactly the same. Hey, how about if we, you know, I don't like the way this works. Can we change this a little bit? No, it needs to work exactly the same things. And sometimes like for the first build, we'll like slip in something there that we think works better, like a better user experience. And then it'll come back and say, no, it has to look exactly like that. So, so it's the kind of thing that usually it's good to give to junior developers to work on or, you know, and check over their code and everything like that because it's a case of it's really simple to test, you know, test on this one, this one, have them both in, both in, in both hands and do that. But the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I know that a lot of you guys out there are Android only developers because you, you leave comments, you say, you know, iOS sucks and everything like that. So you're Android only developers. And while you're working on your own applications and putting them on the app store, you might want to look into doing this kind of work, doing client work for the migration project because there's a lot of companies out there and there's a lot of work out there to do that and if you're going to market yourself you might want to market yourself as the ios to android migration experts or or something like that because we you know, we've done just so many of them right and it's usually and a lot of times you know the businesses they'll like even when, when we we pitch them so like we'll find one and say hey you know you have an iOS only app, you know, like Android is 80% of the market, you know, can we convert this to, to Android or build an Android version for you? And a lot of times they think, hey, you know, that iOS app took us six months, you know, we had all these meetings, we had all these diagrams and charts and everything like that. But that's the nice thing about a migration is that you don't have to go through all that again. It's just, you, you, it's like, that's the prototype. That's the specification, you know, everything that they had to, you know, the trial and error, everything you don't have to go through as a developer. You just have to build it, 
deliver it to them, bill them, everybody's happy, you're happy, they're happy, and, um, and then you, you get on with your life. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys out there a little bit today. Thanks very much for liking and subscribing. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, for those of you guys out there who are developers, have you ever done a migration project like this? And do you find it, have you ever had any difficulty going forward? Because for us, it's just been, it's been a doddle. It's been, you know, just a nice thing to do. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.